Robson Pritchett. Interested, very ignorant am I when it comes to the hunting gear. The thing that just jumps off at me, which I know drives the brand, drives everything, is the pattern. You guys looked around and said, there's lots of animals that have survived for millions and millions of years by being really good at being camouflaged as a predator or prey. So that's where this pattern came from, right? Yep, so we picked the three most indigenous owls in the United States that have a big geographical stretch and uh, we created this pattern here. A lot of bright colors, a lot of dark darks, and just some tans, and what, it's, this is all straight from the owl. So it's all pictures of the owl, and we've created this, this camouflage pattern. And then from there, as far as the gear goes, we're really creating stuff that we think works. What do we want in a jacket? Mm -hmm. What do we see in a jacket? What's, what's hard accessibility? We want big pockets. This big pocket jumped out at me like, it seems huge, and then you're like, well, here's the thing, Harmon. So maybe tell us a little bit on why here, why so big? So the location here on the, on the, on the front is for, uh, you know, when you're wearing waders and you have waders come up to here, you wanna have access to your pockets. If you have pockets down here by your waist, it's a little bit harder to access those pockets. And then these are super deep, so you can put a lot of good stuff in here. And then we have some interior pockets as well that you know put your phone. It's wind resistant, water resistant. This is our cold gear. You know, I was out in this year and, and it was negative nine. Had a hoodie and our base layer on, and and uh, I wouldn't say I was warm, but I was comfortable. So that's that's key. And then as far as the zipper zipper depth, I mean, just we hold a lot of stuff as hunters, and so being able to have that those real deep pockets is is everything in the field. This also, I think, this is what kind of caught my eye immediately. You have this hexagonal pattern. It's, it's I don't know, what's the word? How do you describe it? It's obviously it creates some friction. It's yeah. a little rubbery. Why is this yeah, here? I haven't seen that before. Yeah, so back to what works in gear. When you're holding a gun, a gun on with a sling on your shoulder and you're trekking a long way or you're walking to the deer blind, you're walking to uh, a duck blind, a lot of times your gun sling will fall off your shoulder. So Creating this little patch of friction for friction uh, really just helps keep that gun up there. And then we have it also on the pant for right. some hot spot areas. If you take a knee, you know, those are the first areas that are gonna rip, right? You, you, you go, go take a knee, it's gonna rip between your boots. Just really thinking about the hot spots and then uh, some usability. Okay, big fan of the logo and the branding. It's, it's, uh, it's an aggressive yet wise owl is what we're looking at here. The yeah, so the icon is straight from straight from the owl. We took we took a picture of an aggressive looking owl, a hunting owl, and we created this this icon here. And then obviously four letter word, hoot. Uh, it's, it's what a, what a hoot, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, as I was going down here, I, this reminded me of down here. I was like, this is a huge kind of zipper here. It reminded me almost like of skiing, and I was like, so that caught my eye. You guys have been thoughtful about this. There's a reason for the size of this. Yeah, how many times you've tried to put your pants over boots with a six inch zipper? It, it is a pain in the, it's a pain. So we, we lengthen the zipper to encompass a full boot so you can wrap it around, zip it down. Also, we've got some more rubber here, just like a ski pant yeah. to, uh, to have some friction with your boot to keep them down, so. Got it, and you got a little accessory pocket over here. What do you got? You got something under here? Yeah, we Pops, got two, two front help. pockets. We okay. got, oh, you got, got pockets here. Okay. Zipper pockets on the back. So really just, if you're, if you're taking some gear in, we've got the pockets for you kind of deal. So what works for us? What, what do we want in gear? And then also what do our guides want? We have a lot of guides in the field that are giving us a ton of feedback on our gear and what's working, what's not working. This next year, we'll probably put in these pockets as well for just a little bit of additional pockets and uh, maybe a couple more vents. You know, there are vents this stuff you don't want to get hot in, so there's vents in the yeah. armpit. Okay. Yep. And then this next year we'll add vents in the pants. And, okay. Uh, you know what's working. We've got a full line coming this year. Um, full line. I'm saying that as a base layer, a mid layer, and a and a top layer. So you okay. have your your cold gear, the gear for the '50s. You know, your merino wool style stuff, and then mm -hmm. your base layers. Okay. So, yeah. Awesome. Super impressed, man. Excited for everything you guys have done and what's coming next. Uh, hunt, hoot. Dot com and look for, we're going to be doing a little campaign with our newsletter through the podcast, obviously, and Instagram. We are making an investment to buy some of the stuff to give away free for you guys. So there's going to be a hook. It's going to tie in kind of leadership to make it more engaging, but we're excited to do it. So thanks again. Thank you, Bradley.